the Child Development Centre in Kempston has an open day today for children who have hearing impairments and their families. And we're here today to find out what's going on. My team and I realise that these days a lot of hearing impaired children are the only hearing impaired child in their school, which means they don't meet other hearing aid wearers and they, they don't have a sense of their own identity as a, as a deaf person. So we wanted an opportunity for children to meet other children who wear hearing aids um, and parents to meet parents of children who wear hearing aids and just to have a good time. Is there a growing need for this sort of thing? I've, I feel that uh, with all the loud music you hear in pubs and clubs and everything there may be a real problem for young people mm. later on in life. Yeah that I think there will be actually and, and you can warn children, young people, as much as you like, but of course they do take no notice. So, um, but yes, absolutely. If you're if you're a regular club goer, then yeah, it's very likely that your hearing is going to be affected long term. Mikey, I understand that you are profoundly deaf. What does that mean? Well, profoundly deaf means where when you're born, you can't hear anything, and there's different levels of deafness, and profound is you can't hear anything at all. So you were saying something about the cochlear in your ear? The cochlear implant, well, I had an operation and it helps me to hear things. And um, it's really good for me and it helps me. And how do you, uh, are you lip reading at the moment? Um, I am sort of eye contacting you and lip reading at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it helps me to understand. How old are you? I'm 13. Okay. And I see you're a brilliant dancer and you're teaching others. Can you tell me how the dancing helps people who have got uh, hearing problems? Well, you see, the music that you have in the songs, where they have beats, it sort of trains you to be able to hear and help you understand. Like, it trains your brain to hear things. Because before, I couldn't, I couldn't hear any beats. But because I've been listening to it, it's improved me so much. So now I'm hearing things really good. So. And you're a brilliant dancer. You can obviously enjoy it. What do you, what do you want to do when uh, you get a bit older? Uh, what do I want to do when I'm older? Well, you see, um, I would quite like to be a doctor. I would like to be an implant surgeon because I'm very interested in how the body works and how things, because I'm very interested about how all sorts of things. Cause how long have you had him? So I've had him for two years. Uh, it be two years this uh, July. And uh, he's my best friend <laughs> in many ways. So how does he help you then? Um, the fact that I live alone, uh, he is very useful in terms of telling me what's happening around me in my uh, world. Um, small things like uh, telling me that uh, the pinger on the uh, kitchen timer is uh, ringing and that whatever I'm cooking has been you know, kind of uh, completed. But more important things like uh, safety in the home. Uh, for example, if a uh, fire alarm uh, went off, the um, smoke uh, detector would start making a noise. And he would come and he would tell me, and he, and he tells me by touching me on the leg. Uh, and in that particular situation, he actually goes down into a, a dead position, and that tells me danger. Uh, in sign language, that's danger. <laughs> Eleanor, why do you like drama? You looked as if you were having a lot of fun there. Well, it's like a lot of acting and it's just like a fun activity to do, so I really like it. I mean, I go to an acting school, so it's good. So. Where's that? And um, that's in Sandy, play, um, Sandy Upper School, so it's really good. Mm -hmm. But it's really fun and you get to do like lots of games and like warm-ups and then you get to go on stage, but it's like really scary on stage, but you have to get used to it, but it's... And Ellen, how, how does it does it help you at all? Because you you have got a um, a hearing issue. Well, yeah, because some some things that we do, you're not allowed to talk. You just have to act it out. So so you don't have to listen. You have to like look with your eyes. So it's yeah. helps you there as well. Yeah, thank you for talking to us. It's been a really inspirational day today. There's so much support available, and it's really good to see the enthusiasm and talent in the young people. Perhaps the message should be that we should be looking after our ears. This is Judy Oliver from Local News TV.